Could Comet Swan C2020 F8 be the next bright comet? Well, it is. Like swimwear. Look at it. Gorgeous. Now, according to the data, let's, and we're going about to look at it here, Comet Swan C2020 F8 is currently in the constellation Triangulum. The current right ascension of Comet Swan C2020 F8 is 1 hour, 54 minutes, 32 seconds. And the declination you can see here. The magnitude, Cobb's magnitude, is 5.6, which means you can see it with your eyeballs. C2020 F8 Swan, yes, is above the horizon from Greenwich, UK. It's visible looking in the east direction, 32 degrees above the horizon. Given the magnitude, C2020 F8 Swan is easily visible with the help of a small binocular. Now, it rises about 2.38 a.m., my time. Or is that Greenwich Mean Time? And here is the position in the Triangulum constellation currently. And you can scroll down the magnitude, etc., from the link below here and glean a little information on SWAN. Uh, closest approach here at 0.579 astronomical units will be now, today, which is why we're doing the video. So we're over here at the 3D Sky Live Solar planetarium look at this and we are on the plane of the ecliptic you can see the sun there venus mercury earth and mars and the position of comet swan which we would consider to be north or above the ecliptic let's just bring it through 16th 17th 18th swan is going away but it's not till it comes into the June position. Look at that. That's gorgeous. Oh, where are we? Where'd we go? Where's Swan now? Hello. Let's take a look. So Swan is actually going to come pass through the ecliptic again. See that? around July, and then we can just move it through there day by day. Right about there in August, my birthday of 2020, Swan will pass again through the ecliptic. And some of the pictures of Swan, most recent pictures of Swan here, we can see, boom. And this is coming out 16 hours ago. And you can see now an ion tail here to the left and a secondary tail here, the, the main dust tail. Again here, the ion tail, the dust tail. See how it's splitting now? This is the pos position above Greenwich Mean Time. Boom! And let's just break it down. So... Our current knowledge here is that comets have a nucleus. They're not ice balls. Typically, we've seen, we've landed on them. They're rocks. And they have a main coma, and the coma is gigantic. So there's just a small rock inside of this big glow. And then you have the dust tail, the main tail, which is the breakdown of the frontal portion of the rock. It's being uh, destroyed. And then you get the dust from the comet debris. But at the same time, relative to the position of the sun, you get a solar tail here, an ion tail. And in the middle here, this blue tail is, typically, is sometimes called the sodium tail. So you got the dust tail, the gas tail, and sometimes a middle tail right there. 
And here we see from Boston University imaging, hail bop. Clearly has an ion tail, sodium, and dust. If you must. But this baby, uh, we have a, a long time. Look at it up there. Wow. I just look at that. Gorgeous. I just want to point out that we are just in the last decade starting to understand that comets are not pieces of ice <laughs> left over from the beginning of the Big Bang or any of that schmang. And they are parts of cosmic catastrophe history, remnants of it flowing around our solar system. And we have the opportunity to study in great detail these objects better than ever before in history. Because as you know, history is a mystery on purpose. Hope you got something out of the video. That's a boom to knowledge. Share this with like-minded people. Subscribe to the channel. We love each and every one of you. The only way you can grow scientifically is if you have the ability to change your opinion on what's actually happening based on observation, and we call that science. Be safe. We love you. That's a boom.